This story starts with an 18th century Presbyterian minister, the Reverend Thomas Bayes. But he was also a mathematician and philosopher. And he was interested in solving problems of chance and risk. So the kind of problems that he was looking at were things like, imagine that you've got an urn which has got black and white balls. Now if you know the proportion of black and white balls, it's not too difficult to work out the probability of selecting a white ball. But suppose you don't know what the proportion of white balls is. And let's suppose that you pick out a white ball. How does that change your belief about the proportion of white balls in there? And what about if you pick out a second white ball? Again, what's the probability that the proportion of white balls is, let's say, greater than half? Now that type of problem was what Bayes was interested in, and his theorem essentially provides a way of calculating that type of probability. The problem was that his theorem, although it was universally accepted as the right way to do the calculations, turned out to be too difficult to actually apply for real-world problems. So it really wasn't until the late 1980s that with the advent of computers, and in particular, some novel algorithms at the time, that we were finally able to apply Bayes' theorem to more complex and realistic problems. So for example, I was able to use these techniques as an expert witness to help lawyers in the Stephen Lawrence case to understand the impact of the forensic evidence. We've also applied the same techniques to things like predicting the results of football matches we've actually been able to beat the bookies using these techniques and models. And so looking forward into the future, the major application of this area that I see is in the area of big data. Now there's a massive drive to think that big data is going to solve a lot of the world's problems, but actually the key is not big data, it's smart data. And the only way to get from big data to smart data is to use the techniques these Bayesian techniques that we're pioneering.